Good morning. I'm uh, back in my photo blind again this morning. It's it's a beautiful fall day, and uh, I'm going to shoot some more songbirds um, in the backyard. Some of you may have seen my spring uh, backyard photo shoot where I was photographing songbirds on a, uh, a red flowering current. And so, basically, same kind of setup. I'll show you my setup a little bit later in the video, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to see what kind of birds show up. So I've got a nice uh, uh, Japanese maple in fall color in the background for my shots. So like I took advantage of the uh, blooming red flowering current in the spring, now I'm, in the fall I'm taking advantage of the fall colors for a nice pleasing background. So yeah, let's get some good photos of the birds this morning and then um, I'll show you uh, my setup. Peeking out of the blind here, you can see my suet feeder and a perch out in front of a Japanese maple that's in peak fall color. Just had my first uh, issue with my camera, my uh, Sony Alpha 6600. The uh, focusing sort of just locked up. It, it uh, shooting a continuous autofocus, and uh, every time I hit the focus button, the video screen would just uh, lock up for like three or four seconds. So um, made it pretty impractical to do any focusing. So I switched over from the Alpha 6600 to my Sony um, A7R Mark IV. And uh, it's working fine, but uh, so we'll troubleshoot the 6600 later. See what's going on there. Tried uh, various focusing modes. Tried replacing the SD card, cycling power, changing all kinds of different modes, but nothing seemed to work. So anyway, deal with that later. Anyway, so I'll just keep on shooting these birds for now. Though lots of lots of activity out here. Seeing the. Uh, the yeah, black-eyed junco and chestnut-backed chickadees, black-capped chickadees, flicker. A couple of flickers came by. That's right when the uh, when I had my focusing failure, so I, did, I don't think I have any good photos of the flicker. But anyway, frustrating. Okay, I'm back on the uh, the uh, Alpha 6600 again. Well, I, I was doing some troubleshooting. What I did was I just took the battery out and put the battery back in, and that <laughs> solved the problem. <laughs> I, uh, I tried cycling power before that; that did not solve the problem. But uh, actually, taking the battery out for like 20 seconds and then putting it back in, and everything's working okay again. Very strange. Anyway, back to it. Hey, so let me show you my setup inside the blind here, and then we'll go outside and take a look at the setup out there. So I'm shooting here with the Sona Alpha 6600. It's a mirrorless camera. 
uh, crop sensor. And then I have the, uh, the Sony 200 to 600 millimeter lens, which on the crop sensor of this camera gives me a 300 to 900 millimeter reach. I'm shooting from about 12 feet away from my perch. Uh, the camera will focus down to about 9 feet. Uh, but yeah, this is this has proven to be a pretty good setup for me for uh, you know, backyard songbird photography. And uh, anyway, that's what's going on inside. Let's go outside and we'll take a look at the setup out there. So out here in my patio, you see my blind. And about 12 feet away, I have two light stands. This one on the right holds a suet block feeder. And the one on the left holds a small branch that I just found out in the woods. I clamped an umbrella holder on top of the light stand here. This is designed to attach umbrellas to golf carts. So I just clamped it to my light stand and then clamped the branch in where the umbrella would normally go. And this can be adjusted to various angles so that I can position the branch where I want relative to the feeder and relative to the tree that I'm using for the background. I'll put a link to this device in the description below. It's like $20 on Amazon. So here you can see everything again from a different angle. The tree, the two light stands, and my photo blind. To get a good blurry tree in the background, you want as much distance as possible between the perch and the tree. I have about 12 feet here. It should probably be a little further than that, but I'm kind of on the edge of my patio here. So here we are back in the blind. You can see the alignment of everything with the tree in the background. Here are a couple of chickadees coming in now. Also, here's a good view of the gimbal head of my tripod. This makes it really easy to aim the camera as I need. These little birds are pretty fast, so you need a camera support that's pretty responsive. The camera is basically suspended here and rotates around its own center of gravity, both in the vertical and horizontal directions. Oh, now we have a song sparrow out there. Let me just get a, some photos of that. One more tip here. When I'm not shooting, I hang my suet feeder on a taller stand nearby. My light stand is too short to keep the squirrels and raccoons off my feeder, so I have this taller holder with a squirrel guard on it nearby. The birds easily adapt to the two feeder locations without any kind of problem, as long as the two locations are relatively near each other. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Yeah, and please leave a comment or ask a question. Happy bird watching.